effect is mainly used in After Effects, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it in Premiere Pro. It's an easier way of doing it instead of After Effects. So you guys who are scared of After Effects or not quite sure on how to use it, this tutorial will help you. But also if you guys use it in After Effects and want to try it in Premiere Pro, maybe try something a bit different, then this also could help you. Let's waffle in then let's jump right into the video so first we just have our footage on our timeline so we have our Paris Saint-Germain badge here and we're looking to zoom through into the next clip really simple what we're going to do is we're going to scroll to the end of our clip so one frame before the end of our clip and all we're going to do is we're going to come over and take a screenshot of that last frame and then save it your screenshot should automatically save in your media panel so then we're going to drag our screenshot on our timeline if it doesn't don't worry just import the screenshot over in the panel so then we're going to drag our screenshot onto our timeline like so at the end of our clip as you can see we're going to drag it one frame to the left so now our screenshot is froze so what we're now going to do is we're going to cut our screenshot down because it's just a little bit long it should look something like this when you've done it we're happy with the length of what we got. We're going to scroll to the front of our screenshot file and we're going to go up to effect controls and we're going to head over to the opacity mask and we're going to use the circle for this occasion, but you can use the free to draw if it's more advanced. But for this one, we're going to use the circle because our badge is more of a circle. So we're going to click this now, mask around our badge. So you might need to make a couple of amendments with the circle. I'm not going to make mine perfect just because I don't want this to take all day long. But if you want it to be pretty accurate, then you're going to have to take a couple of minutes or so just to try and get it right. So now what we should have, if we scroll run frame, is we should have the badge like this. So what we want to do is you want to come down to invert so the badge is now taken away. It should look something like this now. We now want to create keyframes so we can zoom through the screenshotted photo. Position and scale, and then we're going to scroll to the end of our screenshotted clip, and we're going to press it again, and we're going to increase the zoom so it's off the screen. And on this occasion, we don't have to do anything with the position axes, so we don't have to worry about that. So now when we play it back, it should look something like that. It's super easy. I can show you another way of how doing this now. So I'm going to show you a different way you can do it with. So this clip is more movement in this clip. It's less of a static clip. So this is a bit more technical, but again, super easy to do. So we're going to do the same again. We're going to drag our screenshot onto the timeline. And then we're going to head over to effects controls. And again, we're going to use the circle, whatever you prefer. You can use the pen tool if you want, but I'm just going to use the circle mask. And we're just going to scroll back a second and we're going to create this mask. So we're going to click on the mask and we're going to make some amendments. You guys really take your time with your masks. Make sure you get them um, pretty much perfect because sometimes they can look a bit wonky and it's not, it's not a good look when the mask don't look quite right. Again, make sure you hit that invert button. The middle should be gone. On this occasion, as you can see, the mask isn't quite done correctly but not to worry we can adjust the mask by going back onto it and making some amendments again so drag our mask around this sometimes helps when you can see the backgrounds so you know what you're kind of getting rid of this sometimes help I'm going to increase the mask feather which is here and we're just going to increase it and this should just extend the mask a little bit and we can put a mask expansion on it as well just a touch click on the first frame position and scale and we're going to scale that all the way up and then make a keyframe near the end of the clip to scale so we zoom right through so that again will look something like this and add a rotation keyframe and let's rotate the screenshotted image so it looks like it's swerving around so we're going to add a rotation let's just do one rotation and add it through so then it should look something like this now that's how to do it in Premiere Pro. Uh, it literally takes two seconds to create this effect and it's really good. The artists really do love this effect. Um, that's the way I do it anyway. You can add some other things behind it and stuff. That's just the raw effect on how to do it. But anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one.